to see you, my friend. You heard that, Larry? Larry, I know you're watching this show right now. You heard what they said? Leon J.B. Smooth is carrying the show. You heard him? He's carrying the show. I didn't say that, but they said that. They said it. The fans are spoken. They're spoken, Larry. Quote us. You know what I miss? Real Husbands of Hollywood. I know. I what a great it. show. What a great ensemble of guys, man. man. You know, that's kind of like, you know, I'm hoping we all get together. But I did, I did tell these guys years ago when the show was about to end. It was, was, well, you know what? It didn't end, end. Yeah, yeah. It just hasn't resumed shooting. Which means there's still a chance. There's it, always a chance. I did tell these guys we should do a movie and yeah. wrap it all up, put a little bow on it. Yes. Yeah. We'll see what happens, though. Shut up and take my money, man. I don't, Watch that. Hey, totally it would be phenomenal. It's, it, everybody's doing their thing, and that, that's the fun thing about doing a, an ensemble of guys like that. You know, Kevin, of course, is mega star right now. He's probably he may be the hardest one to get corral and, and eh. do it, but he has his own production company, so you never know. He can do the movie himself. He can just sign the sure. check. He do it himself. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Talk about though. You talk about taking a break though from a show. I mean, Curb Your Enthusiasm did exactly that. You guys were gone for what? Three years and just come back and it's it's yeah, as popular yeah, as ever. We, that just doesn't happen. Well, well, be, between season uh, uh, eight and nine, it was it was five years, and then um, after season nine, we shot that, and um, season ten, we came back a lot faster mm. than the five years we took off, and, and it didn't feel like five years. It's so weird how we we all, we all get busy. You know, Larry did a a movie, then Larry did a play, and on Broadway, and. Um, and then we came back. Was there ever a point five during years. that five years where you thought, okay, I guess we're done. It's probably not going to happen. You know what? I think I think Curb is one of those shows that you know it, it tackles all the the things that bug us in life. And I think you know, <laughs> as, it's as funny as it is cringeworthy. They call it. <laughs> so it's one of those things. And you know, but I, I always figured like Larry would come back at some point. Yeah. I always felt like, you know, he would he would just get out and get, you know, do something else. But I think he uh, kind of kind of did that with the play and then he shot that mm -hmm. movie. And, I, you know, I, 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 I always thought it might come back, but I was blamed for <laughs> twisting his arm a little bit. A little. And, uh, you know, I go on these radio shows, I go on, you know, do interviews uh. and stuff. And I sit there, they ask me about Curb. And I'll throw it out there, you know, and I'll, I'll just twist his arm a little bit. You say blamed, I say get credit for it. That's right. Hey. Thank you for doing that. Do you, do you, do you, I should get credit for that. How do you yeah. not break? How, how hard is that? Because, like, <laughs> this stuff is so funny, and then you don't want to ruin the cut. You know, it, it's one of those things where, you know, I think because I'm, I got a stand-up mentality. So, you know, I'm, I'm always very into my character, and I'm always giving him, giving him something. Uh. So... You know, and especially when you're improvising, it becomes this thing of, you know, Larry's the number one breaker. He's the number one. <laughs> but he can't. So in my mind, I'm, you know, as a stand-up, we have we have bad intentions for our audience. <laughs> we want you to wear your pants. We, we, we want your spleen to go. Yes. You know, my thing is, when I'm in, in front of Larry and I'm performing with him and, I'm, and we're doing our scene, my thing is, I want to make a snot bubble come out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> not bubbles like that's that's, that's next level yeah, right yeah. there. It's always not bubbles like yes. you know. How much is on the page for for a uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm script? Oh, we get a, a seven eight page outline of the episode, um, but there is no dialogue. Yeah. Outline, yeah, no dialogue it's at cool. all. It's all just in the moment and and, and channel, channeling your character, and um, that's the fun thing about Curb, and it's almost like performing uh, uh, on a tightrope with no net. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You just kind of like. You know, and but as an actor, it's fun. You know, I get a, I get like a, a buzz out of it because it's like one of those things where um, saying something for the first time is always amazing and fun to do. And um, in, in the moment, you have to make quick decisions in the moment because you, you, you don't know where they're going and they don't know where you're going. So I got to make a decision in every scene. Do I have Larry's back yeah. or do I want to go against him? So mm -hmm. that that is the road, the fork in the road all the time. Mm -hmm. What's the most funny? Having his back or having that guy's back. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Do you ever get stumped where you're like, okay, I don't I got, know. I got uh, uh. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that. man. I, love, I, I get a tingle in my back when I, <laughs> when I know I got him. And I, I can see when I got him on his heels. Because uh -huh. he got this little thing he does. Right here, it goes tell. up. He goes, ah, okay. <laughs> Leon, you, uh, you're something else, you know, and I, I know I got him, you know, and uh, I, I think that's the, that's the, the fun thing, I, you know, and every day I meet people who, 
who don't know that the show is improvised. And um, I that's, think that takes it to another level. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's the fun thing, um, you know, but it carries over. And that's the fun thing about, for me it is, being an actor is, I get a chance to do film, um, guest starring on other shows, yeah. and they bring me in. I mean, they'll have a script, but a lot of times they'll say, make it your own, which is, really? that's, that's so a big cool. trust. They yeah. trust yeah. you to, to take that character and make it something something unique. I figured that was the news, I get fired. Yeah, you're single. Hey, I love it. I'll do anything. Weather, traffic, anything. I'm good. <laughs> Single-handedly <laughs> keeping this economy going. You're on like a thousand shows right now. I just got through watching Harley Quinn, the cartoon, yeah, yeah. animated series. It is uh, brilliant. Frank the Plant. Oh you're my god. Killing it, man. That killing character it. is so funny. And the thing about it, when you do a, a voiceover work, you you don't know, you know, how it's going to touch people or because all you're doing is little pieces uh -huh. you know you you're not doing everybody else's voices right. so I mean you read the script but you still don't know how it's gonna come to life yeah yeah, yeah. You, you're not there when they're doing their lines you kind of just going in there you know and do your stuff and you leave so um, for me it was great because um, I got a chance to be a part of two universes yeah of, yeah. of course I was in the Marvel universe right. in the last spider-man movie and then this opportunity came to do Frank the plant and when I tell you we laugh so much <laughs> doing the voiceover work and it is so fun you know I I've, I've done a lot of animated uh, animation so you know between the Harley Quinn stuff between American Dad I've been on the Simpsons mm -hmm. I've been on the Smurfs too you know all these things are, are great and it, it's really a fun uh, another fun uh, avenue to have mm -hmm. at your disposal you know um, we're well, gonna have some fun uh, this weekend tonight yeah. tomorrow at hey, Punchline. Hey, I warned everybody. I said, look, <laughs> look, your boy's coming to town. <laughs> All the shows are sold out. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The shows are sold out. Every last show is sold out. Oh. Would have been fun. But I did warn a lot of people. I said, I'm coming to town. It's gonna be early warning. I'm coming to town. <laughs> and don't call me. I told you, don't call me. Don't send me messages on Instagram <laughs> saying, JB, get me in. I tried my best to give you early warning, but. It's always great. Sacramento is always fabulous, man. And Absolutely. the club is amazing. Had a great show last night. One down, over to go. All Excellent. right. You never know, though. It may put some fold out chairs out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works. You know what? Hey, I'm going to do my next special. It's going to be called uh, Lap Seats. <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of people sitting around, and everybody's going to have somebody on that lap. Oh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a little tiny room called Lap Seats It'll with J.B. Snoob. Oh, that'll be a great special. Yeah, okay. Lap Seats. Come on now. Is that a great special? It's all going around the ground floor to, of this. This is going to clap. Trying to clap around the person. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That was amazing. Come on, man. Lap seats. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in, man. It's so nice Thank to meet you. Y'all are awesome. Good always to fun. see you always. Yes, indeed. If you ever need me to come in as a special guest for weather right. or I traffic, I'm pretty good with traffic. I need some time off. So I'm, more with I'm good with traffic. You want to work Ooh. Saturday? Sure, I'll come by Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> come early Saturday morning. <laughs> so great. Jamie Smooth, thank you very much, man. We appreciate it. Awesome.